everybody. Happy Wednesday. We are going to be making some bottle cap flowers. Um, so you will need your seven bottle caps. Um, I'm using water bottle caps today. Um, you can use um, the caps from glass bottles. You can use the class, uh, caps from plastic bottles. Doesn't matter which one you use. I'm using water bottle caps today. Um, you need seven of them and then for each flower that you make. And then you need one barbecue skewer for each flower that you make as well. So aside from that, you also need your acrylic paints and you need your paint brushes. You can also get your hot glue ready, although um, this is gonna be a step for afterwards because you have to let your paint dry before you can kind of go through the process of assembling it. So um, you can plug it in and get it ready to go for when it's time to assemble it, but you probably won't need it for a little bit, especially because it's gonna take a little bit to dry. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're going to take your, you're gonna divide the caps up. So you're gonna put six caps aside and then put one cap on its own. So the six caps are gonna be the outside of the flower. And then the one cap that you're setting aside is for gonna be for the inside of the flower. So you're gonna decide, you know, which colors of paint you wanted to use. Um, again, if you want the outside of the flower to be all the same color, um, then you're just gonna paint all six of these the same. And then the one is gonna be a different color because it's gonna be that um, piece that stands out in the middle. So I'm gonna do, let's see, I'm gonna do a yellow inside, yellow middle of the flower, and blue. I'm gonna do blue and yellow, blue and yellow flowers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the inside of the flower first. And you can paint this however you want um, to kind of give it the look that it has a little bit more texture. Um, you are going to, after you're finished painting the middle, you can add some dots or some lines or whatever and I'll show that to you in a second. You're just gonna put a little bit of paint aside. If you have like a paper plate or a piece of paper that you can kind of use as your palette as you're going, it's helpful. Um, and you're just going to go to town painting it. This might be something that takes, you know, two layers. And that's okay. Just let it dry a decent amount before you move on to that next layer the paint will kind of start to come off. Um, if you are using beer bottle caps that have the design, uh, you might need three layers to kind of cover it up. I'm using a water bottle cap so it's clear and it's not gonna bring that background color inside. Um, if you're using uh, caps that are on a glass bottle, so a Coca-Cola bottle or a beer bottle, um, you're probably gonna wanna put a couple coats on there, but um, you're also probably gonna wanna choose your darker color paints to kind of make sure that there's a good base on there to cover it up. Unless you like the design on the cap, then you can certainly keep that shining through. So I'm just gonna put one layer on for now and give it a couple minutes to dry before I put that second layer on. Uh, I'm just gonna set that yellow aside and I'm going to paint my other six caps a different color because that's gonna be the outside of my flower. I only have to put one layer of the blue on. The darker paint color you pick, odds are you'll have to do lighter or less layers. If you're choosing like a white or a yellow or 
maybe even an orange, you might have to put a couple more layers on to kind of hide any designs that are on the cap itself. I'm just going. I think I only have to put one layer of my blue on. I'm just going through, painting it all. And if you have like a piece of paper or something, you can set these on while they're drying. That's best. This is kind of like my work table, so there's just paint all over it. Um, so I'm not <laughs> the least bit concerned, but I'm sure that you guys are probably working at nicer tables than the one I'm working on right now. Um, as you can see, there's paint all over it. <laughs> And odds are you're probably going to get a little bit of paint on your hands. Not a big deal. Um, this paint can be washed off of your hands. Just be careful of clothes. So once you do all six of the outside ring, um, it'll probably be like a safe time at that point to go ahead and go back and put that second layer on that middle piece. That'll be enough drying time that it won't rip the paint off of it. So I'm gonna go through the process of showing you how to assemble this fully. Um, you guys are gonna wait a little bit to do that last part because you want to make sure that your bottle caps are dry before you're assembling it. I'm going to assemble it with the paint still wet just because um, I want you to be able to see the whole process. Um, but you can actually just come back on when it's dry and ready to go um, and replay the live video if you need the steps again. But it's pretty simple to assemble. Not anything too crazy. I get the least amount of paint on my fingers, but it's not working out. It's okay. Um, if you have a piece of paper that you can set down and just kind of paint around as you go, that works too. I'm just kind of sometimes easier to just hold it and paint it, but you can also set them on the table and paint around them. Almost there. And if you wanted to go back and add designs, you can. So you can add polka dots onto the flowers. You can add stripes onto the flowers. It would make it really look cool. Um, I'm just going to add some dots onto the center one to kind of give it the look of the texture, like the middle of the flower. Um, but you can add polka dots on to the designs. You can use your Sharpie to draw on designs after everything's dry. There's so many things you can do, and you can make these your own designs here. And they're really just going to be decoration for the garden. Stick it in the soil to add a little bit of fun design to the garden. Oh. 
here. And I'm just going to go back and put a second layer on my yellow bottle cap. The most important part of it is the top of the cap. That's the part where you're really going to see designs come through. The sides of the caps, um, you won't see as much as the top. So if the side's not fully covered, it's not a big deal. It's not going to drastically change it. All right. So once that's all painted, um, you can add a little texture look to the middle, which I'm going to do right now. Um, this is optional. You don't have to do it. I'm just going to use like a brown maybe. I'm going to use a brown. Just a tiny bit. Um, you guys have different shades of different colors, which is also something that would be a really cool thing to add some texture to it um, or adding some designs. So I'm just going to take my yellow cap and I'm just going to put a bunch of dots on there to kind of make it look like it's like the center of the flower. Once you're done painting, you're going to let it dry for a couple hours. I would leave it, it probably only needs about 30 to 40 minutes to dry, but I would leave it for a couple hours, like one or two hours, to just make sure that it's fully dry. Because um, you don't want to mess up your design when you're assembling it and have to go back and repaint it. So I would just let it dry for a decent amount. You actually probably don't need your hot glue gun plugged in right now, now that I think about it. <laughs> um, because you have to let it dry for a decent amount. Okay, I'm going to assemble them uh, while the paint is not dry yet, just so that you guys can see start to finish how to complete this. Um, however, I would advise you to make sure that you are letting it dry fully before you are assembling it. So you're probably going to use a decent amount of hot glue for this project, probably like a stick, a full stick. Um, just have it nearby and ready to go. I'm going to let this heat up for a little bit. So when it's time to go and assemble it, you're just going to line up your six on the outside of the flower. Not to. I'm going to put your bottle caps around the outside of the flower. And you'll notice that it has a pretty perfect fit. The sticks around the outside is just the right amount for it. So you'll have like a little design like that. Okay. And then you're going to put hot glue in between each of the flowers, as well as hot glue that connects them all to the center. Um, and I'll go through this and show it to you. Make sure this is fully heated up here. I'm gonna add some cool. I think I want to add some stripes to my flower. Reason for this to heat up, I'm gonna add some stripes. If you're gonna add designs to the top, I would also just let the layer fully dry before you do it. Just to make sure it's good to go. Right now my stripes are not the best because I didn't let the layers dry in between. Definitely let your layers dry before you add on another design on top.
Um, if you have like a piece of fabric, setting the bottle caps on top of the fabric actually keeps them from moving. So if you have like a, a piece from your jeans when we were using the jeans, um, or like a piece from your t-shirt when we were making odd uh, things with the t-shirts, setting them on the fabric itself will keep them from like kind of sliding around on your table. So just another little hack for you. All right, so once you have it all assembled, I'm going to start putting hot glue on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put one on one side, one on the other, and one here so that it connects to the middle piece. So I have glue here, glue here, and glue underneath, and I'm gonna connect it to the middle piece as well as the two side pieces. You're gonna have to move relatively quickly because the glue will dry pretty fast. Um, if you want to do one piece at a time, that's cool too. See my glue already dried. And it's not very easy to do when the paint is still wet. So, um, just make sure that it's fully dry. It's not as easy to do when the paint is not dry. This actually isn't even gonna so it's not gonna hold. I didn't even think about that. Um, I'm not gonna be able to assemble it <laughs> um, without it being fully dry. So actually what we're gonna do is tomorrow, before tomorrow's craft, we're just gonna assemble it real quick. So let all of your stuff dry in 24 hours. I didn't even think about the hot glue not holding without the paint being dry completely. Um, so hold your items, let them dry overnight, and then tomorrow, before tomorrow's craft, we'll go through and assemble it, because um, I won't be able to assemble this successfully without my paint being dry. And I made these before letting the paint dry for 24 hours in between. So I'm just gonna follow that rule and go with it this time. So paint your bottle caps, Make them whatever design you want. Let them dry until tomorrow. And then tomorrow, right before tomorrow's craft, we will go through and assemble it out. Um, again, just make sure before tomorrow you add any designs that you want to add. Um, and we'll go through and assemble it. Tomorrow we're also going to be working on our cork board, so we have a lot to do. We're going to be using a lot of hot glue tomorrow. Um, and then Friday, we're going to make our toilet paper wreath out of the paper towel and toilet paper rolls. So um, for tomorrow, you need either your Tupperware container or your aluminum can, um, aluminum like cookie can that people use in the holidays, um, as well as enough wine corks to fill in the middle. And then you'll need your acrylic paints and your hot glue gun. Um, so that will be for tomorrow. That's what you need. Um, all right. So finish your designs, let them dry overnight, and then we will revisit this tomorrow. Because I didn't think about the glue <laughs> not sticking without it being dry. Um, so we'll be back here tomorrow at four o'clock. We'll assemble our bottle cap flowers and we'll also work on our cork board. So we have a big day tomorrow. So I'm excited. Um, but I will see you all back here tomorrow. Enjoy, have fun painting. And I cannot wait to see your designs when they are all complete. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.